General Motors has all the premises to turn the Chevrolet Camaro into the automotive equivalent of a tragedy from a petrolhead's perspective. Don't know how? Stick around to find out. Launched in 2015, the sixth-generation Camaro is an old product by today's standards, though not as old as its rival from Dodge, the Challenger. The latter will soon bite the dust, with its successor being expected to premiere at the end of 2024. Logic would dictate that GM also has a brand new muscle car in development, right? No, as its future is shrouded in mystery. One thing is certain, and that is the fact that the nameplate will return, but it remains to be seen if it will stay true to its predecessors. It would be a pity to kill it altogether while chasing after the electric segments for crossovers with new products, as one hypothesis states that the Camaro could become a sub-brand, perhaps welcoming additional models, including a sporty high-riding EV. Others believe the Camaro will return to the muscle car realm, either with EV or ICE power, or perhaps both. Meanwhile, the model will be retired after the 2024 model year, and the Bowtie brand is celebrating it with the collector's edition. The special variant is available in the LT1, SS, and ZL1 trim levels, bringing a few visual novelties. It starts at $39,440, rising to $88,690 for the most agile member of the family, the mighty ZL1, which can roll with Hellcats and Shelbys. The 2.0L4 pop was also dropped for the 2024 MY, as the Camaro is only available with V6 and V8 firepower. Any car enthusiast would tell you that Chevy's Camaro deserves a better send-off. After all, Dodge has outdone itself by launching the Challenger Demon 170, which boasts unbelievable performance. It needs only 1.66 seconds to 60 mph, and should you fill the tank with E85, then its supercharged V8 will unleash 1,025 horsepower. Mind you, that's more than the first Bugatti Veyron, and in a straight-line sprint, it can humiliate some of the fastest cars ever made. But Chevrolet is obviously not interested in opening the gates of hell on the Demon 170, and neither is the rendering world, for that matter. Speaking of which, the vehicle has unofficially stepped into the 2025 MY once again, and this time, it was courtesy of A.C.G underscore design on Instagram and a few digital illustrations that portray it dressed in the famous Bumblebee attire. Yes, that would be the Transformers Bumblebee, boasting a wacky body kit and some other adjustments, 